It's a brand new day, so come on and play in a world that's waiting for you. We're about to begin, so come on in. There's so much to do at school, and you can do anything if you try. With friends like Timothy by your side, there's a new adventure. In Oh, watch yourself there, Timothy. Sorry, Henry. I'm playing hide-and-seek with Charles, and I can't find him anywhere. Charles, yeah, Charles, yeah, right. Uh, which one is he again? Oh, you know. Yeah, a, a big guy, right? Um, <laughs> no, I haven't seen him, no. <laughs> Thanks, Henry. All righty, Charles. Thanks, Henry. Yeah, <gasps> woo-hoo! <laughs> 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 Ballet slippers are great for dancing on your toes, but my favorite dance shoes are Irish dance shoes. This is me winning a prize at the Irish Cayley. I love to dance, and I'm really quite good at it. Thank you, Grace, for a wonderful In the Spotlight. And there's more to come. Next time, it will be Charles's turn. What's your in the spotlight, Charles? Is it, is it race cars? <laughs> Are you gonna sing? Um, it's a surprise. How exciting! Everyone loves surprises. to do in the spotlight. Well, that's great. Only, I don't know what to do. Well, what do you want to do? Hide. You know what might help? Choose something you really like to talk about. Really? Yes, really. I really like my dump truck. Hmm. I really like my dad. And I really, really like leaves. Leaves are very interesting. Yes, they are. Hi, Charles. Hi, Timothy. This is an oak leaf. This is a maple leaf. You know a lot about leaves, Charles. I really like them. Really? Really, really. Are leaves here in the spotlight surprise? Uh-huh. Hi, Charles. What's your spotlight surprise? Tell us! Tell us! Yeah, tell, tell us! us. Leaves! Oh, good trick, Timothy. Yeah! You said it without moving your mouth. <laughs> 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 Help yourself! Thanks, Henry!
Big Maple Leaf, Small Maple Leaf, Big Yellow Leaf, Small Red Maple Leaf, Oak Leaf, New Pile! Good sorting, Charles. Are you ready for In the Spotlight? Not yet, Mrs. Jenkins. Okay. What are you doing? Waiting. Oh, can I wait with you? Sure. I was good at talking in front of everybody like Timothy. Well, you're good at different things, like waiting. <gasps> oh. <laughs> hey! Are we done waiting? Charles, ready for the spotlight? I'm not ready yet. I need more leaves. <gasps> oh! Ah! Hey! Hey, kiddo. How was school today? Okay. Is that for In the Spotlight? Uh-huh. It looks like you're ready. You must have enough leaves for In the Spotlight by now, Charles. I don't want to do In the Spotlight. Why not? You really, really like leaves. I'm not good at talking in front of everybody like you are, Timothy. In the spotlight is scary. Mrs. Jenkins says scary things get easier if you practice. You can do it, Charles. Um, I like leaves because... Be because... Yes? <gasps> Come on, Charles. You nearly had it that time. You were doing great! Okay. I, I like these because... <laughs> Looking at me. Okay, I'm not looking. Try it again. I I like leaves because. <laughs> now what? You peaked. Okay, wait here. Try it now. I like leaves because they are quiet. You did it! I like leaves because they make shade. Way to go, Charles! How's it going, Timothy? It's going great. Hey, kiddo. Timothy says you're doing great. Can I listen too? <gasps> Don't worry.
read Charles. You know all about leaves. Yeah, but I'm not good at talking about it in front of everybody. Hello, boys. How is practice? Charles doesn't want to talk about it. Let Charles speak for himself, Timothy. He doesn't need you speaking for him. Yes, I do. Huh? Timothy can talk for me. In the spotlight. But I don't know about leaves. I do. We can practice. Big maple. Little maple. Oak. Beech. Birch. Um... Linden. Well done, Timothy. Mrs. Jenkins, I'm ready for In the Spotlight now. Wonderful. I'm looking forward to it, right after recess. Wow. Wow. Charles likes leaves because they are quiet. Charles likes leaves because they make shape. Charles likes leaves because there are so many different kinds. Wow! It's working! That's a... Oak leaf. That's an oak leaf. I know that one. That's a big red maple leaf. <laughs> you got it! <laughs> no, you got it. Standing on my shoulders. Was it up high? All the way up on the window ledge. <gasps> way up there? I have a Japanese maple tree in my garden. I don't have one of those. I can bring you a leaf for your collection. Thanks, Yoko. I found lots of red maple leaves. You can have some. <gasps> oh, thank you. Maple trees are all over. Not like chestnut trees. I only found a few chestnuts. You can roast chestnuts and eat them. That's right. Tell us about another leaf, Charles. Okay. This one comes from a birch tree. Birch bark makes great paper. That's the last one. Aww. 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 The thing I like best about leaves is how they dance. They. Dance? Uh-huh. Now, Timothy. <laughs> what a wonderful in the spotlight, Charles. Thank you. I did it! You sure did. Right. Whoa! Look at all your shells. I got them at the beach on vacation last summer. Wow! Look at the size of this one. That must have been a huge clam. Look at this one. That's from a mussel. Really? How do you know? You can tell by the dark shell. I didn't know that. Hey, let's use the shells to make a beach. Great idea. This is my favorite shell. It's amazing. Listen, you can hear the ocean. Wow! Let's put it between the other shells to protect it from the tide. Good idea! There. It's safe now. This'll be the sandbar. Okay. Hmm. We're going to need more shells to make the beach longer. I'll bring some more tomorrow. Perfect. It'll be the best beach ever. Yeah. I 
Hi, Timothy. Hi, Fritz. Guess what? What? I'm moving away. What? My mom told me last night, we're moving to a new town. <gasps> Look, this is where I'm moving. There's a beach and a science museum, and my mom even said there are going to be lots of kids my age to play with. Isn't that great? Uh-huh. And my mom said my room's going to be bigger so that I can have more space to do my experiments in. And there's a park near my house, and a big tree in the backyard, and shells to make me... Attention, everyone. We have some special news. Fritz is going to be moving away. What? Huh? Oh, no! Is there going to be a soccer team at Fritz's new school? Yeah, you have to have a soccer team. Well, uh... Will they have music? I, um... Can you bring your toys? Um... Now, now, one at a time, children. Who's first? Doris. Where's your new school? I know where his new school is. Hilltop is here, and Fritz's new school is here. Wow. Ooh, but that's so far away. Will we get to see you? Uh, I don't know. Don't you want to go out for recess, Timothy? Not really. Is everything okay? Fritz is moving away. We'll never see each other again. Oh. He won't be my friend anymore. Hmm. You know, Timothy, there are lots of ways that you and Fritz can still be friends, even if he's not living here. Really? Of course. You can write him letters, you can talk on the phone. Maybe I could go and visit him. And maybe your parents will invite him to visit you. Wow. Thanks, Mrs. J. You're welcome, Timothy. Hi, Fritz. I brought more shells. We can make a longer beach. Come on, Fritz. It'll be the best beach ever. I guess if I move, we won't be able to do this anymore. But we can still write letters and talk on the phone and stuff. I could even come and visit you, and we could play on the beach. Yeah, but it won't be the same. Yeah, I know. Mrs. Jenkins? What is it, Timothy? I think Fritz is sad that he's moving away, so I want to give him something. You mean like a going away present? Yeah, something he can take with him so he'll remember me. I think that's a wonderful idea. Perhaps you'd like to ask the other children to do that too. Okay. We can all give him something. That's a great idea, Timothy. Okay, but remember, it's a secret. Pass it on, but don't let Fritz know. Okay. Okay. Hey! Are you ready to play yet? Ah! Oh, no. Bring a present for Fritz to remember you by. Pass it on. Oh. He's bringing a present for Fritz. Pass it on. Okay. All ears, children. Fritz, each of your friends has brought you something that you can take with you to your new home. Wow. Here's a can of Franken beans so you won't forget us. Yeah. We were going to give you two cans, but uh, we kind of ate the other one. <laughs> Thanks, guys. I made you a talking tube. So if you ever start missing me, you can just use this. 
<laughs> Thanks, Nora. I wrote a poem for you. Thanks, Grace. <clears throat> Goodbye, Fritz. A poem by Grace. Here at Hilltop School, we saw you every day. And we will never forget you, even when you move away. Bye-bye! This is from my cherry tree. Interesting. Put it in water as soon as you get to your new home. I will. Thanks, Yoko. Here. What is it? It's a ribbon to tie around your finger so that you won't forget me. I'll never forget you, Lily. I painted it just for you. Thanks, Doris. This is for you, Fred. You can keep bugs in it at your new house. Wow, that's great. Thanks, Charles. Here. It's a precise picture that I drew of Hilltop School. Thanks, Claude. It'll help me remember all of you. Here, Fritz. <gasps> but, Timothy, it's your favorite shell. I know. I want you to have it. Really? Uh-huh. Wow. Thanks. to send me a letter as soon as you get to your new home? I promise. I'll miss you, Fritz. I'll miss you too, Timothy. But I'll be coming back for the holidays to visit my grandmother. Did the mailman forget to come today? No, honey. He came, but there wasn't anything for you. Are you sure? I'm afraid so. Okay. What do you think will happen next? How about you, Timothy? Um... What was the question? Timothy, is everything all right? Well, Fritz has forgotten me. What makes you say that? He didn't send me a letter. Oh, Timothy, it's only been a few days. But he promised he'd write to me as soon as he got to his new house. I'm sure he's still very busy with the move. You know, it takes a little while to settle into a new place. Really? Sure. They have to unpack all of their furniture. And toys. That's right, and toys too. Then they have to find the right place to put everything. So I'm sure that Fritz will write to you as soon as he has time. I hope so. Timothy. Our new place is great. Mom was right. There's a big tree in the backyard, and my room is huge. I found this shell on the beach near my house. 
It's my favorite, and I want you to have it for your collection. I miss you a lot. I can't wait to see you during the holidays. Bye for now. Your friend, Fritz. Wow! Where did you get such a marvelous shell, Timothy? From my good friend, Fritz.